All right, coming up, we, uh, we're we going to talk a little bit about uh, the IRS security breach. Uh, we have back with us uh, Mario Cost- Cost- Costanz. 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 Can't stand you. Can't stand you. Can't stand you. Very Costanz. Mario Costanz. Uh, is gonna, he's from uh, happytax.com. Happy tax. What kind of an oxymoron is that? Happy <laughs> tax. Uh, and, and he's going to talk about this, uh, what, what, what's going on with the latest IRS uh, breach. You heard that. Um, is this the one? Was it 104,000 people? Is that what it was? Yeah. Like uh, it, was like, it was like a lot. Uh, yeah. I think that's what it was. 104,000 people's uh, information was uh, uh, stolen. breached. Yeah, stolen. Uh, Mario is with us right now. Back again. Good morning, Mario. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Uh, hold on. I, I almost forgot about this. It's me, Mario. See, yeah, see, he has yeah. own introduction. Got to make sure we get nice. that. In. Yeah, we did that for our last Mario. Yeah. All right. So, so uh, n- now you know this stuff uh, a hell of a lot better than than we do. What exactly happened, and uh, w- with this security breach of the IRS? So what happens is the IRS has a, an online application where taxpayers can request their transcripts. And it's just a, just a basic website where you go in and verify some information and be able to get an online copy of your tax transcripts with prior year tax return data. Um, so identity thieves already had stolen some data from other sources, and they used that data to go into this application over 200,000 times and download the transcripts of people um, about 104,000 times they were successful. So, and the reason that they're doing that is they were actually doing this proactively to get tax fraud going for next year. I mean, it's a $5 billion problem in this country right now, and they're actually projecting it to hit $20 billion next year. So they, they, it wasn't some kind of crazy cyber security. It was just old-fashioned um, typing in data into a web form and you know, trying to verify information and taking shots at some multiple-choice questions, and 104 times they were successful. Well, okay, so I mean, it sounds to me a hundred and four times, a thousand times being successful. This is a big operation. It's not one person sitting around doing this. That's correct. I mean, there's syndicates of organized crime, uh-huh. um, primarily overseas, but also here in the U.S. Okay, that are identity thieves, and they're 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 running operations to do this. I mean, they're they're making five billion dollars a year right now doing it. So you can imagine it's definitely not one person. Five billion dollars. That's a lot of money. That is man. that is a lot of money. We probably don't have that kind of money to spend. Now, 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 the five billion dollars that they're making was that supposed to go to us? Like individuals were supposed to get that money. Well, that's our money. That's I mean, our money. That, the IRS yeah. doesn't have its own money. The IRS only oh. has the money that it collects from us as oh. taxpayers. Right. So, so the so the money that that is going to them should have been going to me and you and Big Al and everybody else. Yes. And, and, yeah, and are we ever going to know about this or or? Well, what, you know? it, it's not necessarily dollars that would have been in our pockets, but it's dollars that we funded to the government that you know could have either been used to cut taxes or used for other programs that would have been more uh, proactive for society. So wait, so so it wasn't our tax returns. No, they see they steal tax return money from the IRS. So they put in a fake tax return in someone's name. I got they you. get the money. Okay. The IRS ends up giving the true refund okay. to the person after the fact. It takes eight or nine months for the whole sort to get figured out on an individual basis. But it's not where it's actually coming out of you know we were all got another fifty dollars. It's okay. coming out of the general government fund, which is you know could be used better. Uh, than putting in these criminals' pockets. And it's stoppable. That's the biggest problem. So, and, and I was going to say to you, what, what would it take to stop this? How do you prevent this? I, you know, we put together a, a paper and have it online where we, and actually our CEO has sent a letter to the commissioner of the IRS. And it's just four common sense strategies that the IRS can do. And we'll stop 80% of all this tax fraud. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's not even high tech stuff. It's just a matter of, you know, taking the time to use common sense and not be bureaucratic. And you know, putting stopping in its tracks. Okay, what what would be a common sense thing to so, do? I mean, one one thing that the, the way they're able to get away with this. So the IRS requires employers to give W two to people by January thirty first. They don't require the employers to give it to the IRS until March thirty first. And the reality is, it, it funnels through the Social Security Administration. The Social Security Administration doesn't pass it over to the IRS until somewhere in August. So every tax return filed before August, the IRS is not even verifying that that person had that particular W-2 or had that amount of withholding. 
So that's how these returns are, are slipping through the cracks because it's a fake identity uh, uh, with some fake information on it. And the IRS is not even taking the time to use simple computer matching to make sure that that person actually worked at that job and had that amount of withholding. And gotcha. that's how these refunds are being issued. Okay, so, so that's one simple thing. You, you said there's like four simple steps that you could take. Absolutely. And th- but, but that's pretty fail-safe. I mean, it's, it's, it's not rocket hmm. science. I mean, it's, it's something that, you know, they could, they could build some computer systems. Clearly, it would cost some money, but I would bet it would cost a hell of a lot less than the $5 billion in spending each year compared to um, get, stopping this in the tracks. And then, you know, we'll save $20 billion next year. And, and think about the 10-year cost of that and how yeah. much that will be able to um, save over that period of time just by dropping some serious money into it now. You know, the IRS was always complaining that Congress doesn't give them funding. Uh, that's really not an excuse. I mean, they do have funding, but they, they, they run like a real bureaucratic agency, and it's not um, done in a way that using these common sense strategies the private sector can provide. So, uh, so now that this is, breach has happened, are they now prepared? Are, are, they, are they closing the barn doors after the horse is gone to make sure no more horses leave? Well, they've, they've, they've stopped this application. So okay. right now you cannot download your transcripts online like you were able to last week. Okay. Um, until they can figure out what to do with that particular but, situation. But Mario, won't these criminals, and that's what they are, criminals, won't these criminals just figure out another loophole around this thing? They will. But, you know, like I said, the, the four common sense strategy that we have is going to close 80% of those loopholes. Are they going to think of more stuff? Probably. But if, if we can get proactive and stop, you know, just making excuses... We can, you know, if we can save four billion out of the five billion and give them some, you know, they'll figure out some new stuff. It's still great. I mean, it's still helpful to the American public and will help us bring down taxes at your rate too high. Okay, Let, let's pretend that that's going to happen. Yeah, they're not yeah. going to yeah. let us we save money. Pretend it's not going to happen. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> but they're not going to make us save money. All right. So, so when you first saw this, uh, I mean, you're a tax pro. You know what the stuff. When you first saw this stuff happening, how long was it between the time you first heard about it till, till, till the, the you know, we heard about it, or did you hear about it at the same time? Did yeah, you we know heard it at the same time. The, the okay. IRS released the, the information on Tuesday to everyone in the okay. release. Yeah. I, I didn't know if you guys knew that this stuff was, uh, you know, were you throwing up the flags first going, hey, guys, you're, you're, you know, this is happening? No, I mean, we don't have access to the IRS data, but it, it would just, just to make, you know, if 200,000 more requests than normal start coming in on anything, I mean, that's just common sense. You know, th- it might be something up here. Why is 200,000 extra people trying to get their tax transcripts compared to what they normally do. It's, it's not a lot of people use that system. Um, it is used, and do people do use it. Tax professionals use it a lot. However, you know, it's not like you, know, you have millions of people accessing their transcripts. I don't know the exact number that they're generally doing, but this is a massive amount of transcripts okay. compared to what's normally used. And yeah. It took them from February till May to figure this out. Now, did, now, now, did you use this system? I mean, we, we've helped clients to use this to get transcripts. If someone needs to do a tax return for prior year and they don't have the information, it is helpful. Okay. Um, right. You can do it the old-fashioned way. You can fax or mail in a paper to the IRS, and they'll send back the transcripts. But when they introduced this a couple years ago, it was, it was helpful, and it enabled the clients to get their information uh, immediately. Okay. But clearly See, it's now, not uh, now, okay. now, dude, you, you knew about this system. You knew it was in place. You could have made five point some odd billion dollars <laughs> instead. <laughs> You're just, come on. <laughs> what? I'm not a criminal. It's not for me. All right. But you know what? Yeah, amazing I, business. Look, look. You know, I, I'm sure your business is amazing. Five billion dollars, yeah. Mario. Come Drop on. the act, Mario. Se- we seriously, know. <laughs> draw the draw the good guy line somewhere. At five billion, you cross over. You know what I mean? Come on. Nah. Come I on. Do come it. on. Come on. Come on. I have integrity. Yeah, yeah. That's all well and good. But seriously, five. All right. Teach me how to do it. No way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Stand down, Delta team. Well, then what the hell are we talking to this guy for? I don't, it doesn't sound like I'm getting any of this $5 billion. I mean, here's the thing. If you want, if the information's on the internet. You know, it's not really hard. And, and if you take a look at our paper, it shows the four things that the, the criminals are doing um, that the IRS can put in easy stops to. And if you want to go meet a criminal, right. you know, <laughs> where, you. where do I go? GetHappyTaxCriminal.com? <laughs> No, gethappytax.com oh, okay. slash solve fraud. We'll be able to get you access to that paper. All right. Well, uh, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll do that then. I'll, I'll have to settle on that one. There you go. <laughs> gethappytax.com. Mario, thanks, man. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Have a great night. All right. You too.